Hey all, there's been great progress in simplifying the way to install Affinity on Linux. I'm just on Ryzen Do's new GitHub page and there's two flavours that you can download. You've got an x86 app image and an x86 app image for older CPUs. And basically you download it and just run it and it will clone Affinity and all the wine to a folder in like 30 seconds. And that's it. And then you just run it. So every time you click the app image after that, it will just run from the off. Now the older CPU one was intended to be for machines that say older than five years. But I found on my ZenBook Duo, that's only like a year and a half old, but because it's got Intel graphics integrated, I had to use the old app image because the new one it didn't like for some reason. So I'm just going to download one of them now and show you how it works. Got to do a massive shout out to Matt's creative YouTube as well, as he's the brains behind all this. He um, he did. He also has a GUI installer which will install all the dependencies one by one and then install Affinity. But this is by far, in his words, the run and gun way of installing it. If you're new to Linux, this is the easiest option. So that's just downloading. Whilst that's downloading, I just want to show you something else that I noticed this morning. I actually prepared the notes for this video last night. And since then, it looks like he's added some more app images. So if you go to his main GitHub and scroll down, it looks like there's an app image for different distros now. So you've got a Linux Mint app image, a Zorin OS app image, Manjaro app image, a Bento app image, and Pop OS app image. So we'll start with these two because I've tried them and I know it works, but I'd suggest also having a look at his main GitHub page and seeing how they work. So, right, that's downloaded now. So let's open it. So basically, if you just right click, go to properties, permissions, allow executing file as program, so you can double click it, but if you're curious as to what's going on in the background, you can also open a terminal, drag and drop it, and then just hit enter. Oh, and you can also set the scale in here. Although on my previous testing, it didn't work for me, but try it and try one of the other ones if not. So you go okay on that. And let's see what it does. Well, look at that. Oh, no, actually, I think I've already done it once. That's why my readout is not shown in terminal. But basically, you can just open it or you can drop it in terminal, hit enter, and then for a lot of applications, it will tell you what it's doing. So that's it, it's open. So if we just close that again. Double click the app image. Just let the scale in again if it works. Okay. And it should open quickly, which it does. Still waiting on the Canva fix, so you can log in and use the AI features. The C pair GitHub apparently knows what to fix, but they've not rolled it out yet. I'm hoping they'll share it with Max Creative, but I'm not sure what's happening there. But yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work, they say. So that's all for today. But yeah, let us know how you get all of these app images in the comments. And please hit subscribe and I'll keep you updated to everything Affinity. So all the best.